What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to our Rainbow Six Siege and today we're going to be talking about Lion and Finca. Now they were just revealed properly during the Rainbow Six Siege Pro Invitational. So we're going to be taking a look at some footage from there and then we're going to be talking about, well at least give you my thoughts on what I think and how they'll turn out and how they'll affect the meta and things along those lines. So first up let's talk about Finca. She's the Russian operator and she comes with her crafting little lamp nanobots and i will have to say i did initially at first think she'd be the most overpowered uh but she definitely did turn out to be the most balanced as you'll hear uh here soon uh from the devs in a moment but honestly uh, i'm looking forward to seeing how she'll change up the meta a lot um i think that she will be the most uh, she will definitely be kind of like a Mira in sense for the offensive team where you will have very interesting strats based around her and her unique ability. So let's take a listen to what the devs have to say. We'll watch some gameplay, watch some counters uh, that they talk about, what she can do, and then we'll see from there on out. Obviously, Finca is our Russian attack operator, and she is equipped with a global buff that uh, we will be breaking down in just a moment. Uh, we're really excited to showcase this global buff. Amelia, please uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the design intentions behind her unique gadget. So we always want to try to expand the boundaries of the gameplay of Siege, try to conquer new territories. And this season, the theme of the season is uh, global. What we mean by global is something that is map-wide, and team-wide. Everyone everywhere on the map will be affected by those effects. In Finca's case, we are exploring the possibility to provide a buff to your team. So a global buff to your entire team. Let's see that in action. How does this gadget actually work? So Lower recoil, faster ADS time, faster increased reload speed. All around the board, you will be much more efficient in your gunfight. You will be capable to win certain gunfights that you should not, and it will improve your efficiency for the entire team. So um, improve the efficiency for the entire team. How long does it last about? 20 seconds. 20 seconds, and uh, you can use it a, a few times as well. So let's take a look at how that charge looks like from the, uh, the teammate's perspective. Exactly. So in this specific example, we have Rush boosting her ally. Uh, well, we have Finca boosting her ally. She will pick with the LMG through the window. She will get the kills with this increased accuracy. You see that the LMG that tends to have an important recoil is able to be used much more efficiently. Yeah, so a lot more control on that uh, recoil for that LMG for Zofia. We were taking a look at her perspective. That's, I mean, that's, that's going to come into play in a lot of really interesting situations, but also in that trail, in that little clip, we saw a little boost to the HP bar. What's going on there? Yes, good, good spot, Justin. Uh, we also boost your allies' HP by 20 HP, which is not much, but it's all across the board, so it's very Boosting useful as down. well. Uh, this boost will also revive your friendly that are down. Like if your uh, fantastic glass fell from the tower, you can bring him back. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I hear the, the crowd really likes that ability. <laughs> uh, I like it too because I'm always falling off roofs. I'm so sorry to all my teammates that are, are out there. Uh, anyway, so that's a look at how her gadget actually works. Let's take a look at her, her loadout. So what, what is she? So the, the mentality, the philosophy here for Finca is really to embrace this support role. So it makes sense that she's a two speed, two armor. She's on the average uh, side of the spectrum. She works that way. She, uh, not too fast, not too short, but she needs to be able to intervene uh, uh, on all her teammates. But again, global effect means that she doesn't need to be positioned in a specific place to use it. So she doesn't really need to reposition to do that. So she doesn't need that three speed to roam around. Exactly. So, uh, so that's a look at her, her armor and uh, speed. What about her loadout? What about her primary and secondary? So since she is Russian, she comes with the classic shotgun and LMG that we know from a Russian operator, but she also has a new uh, AR called the Sarich. That is a very interesting new AR that is not in Siege right now, but will be included with Finca. And one r quick question on that. Does she come equipped with the Russian sights? Yes, she does. So that's going to be really cool to see the first operator that we're introducing back into this Russian uh, sort of uh, uh, group. And she actually comes equipped with those Russian sights. So that, let's take a look, as we always do, the breakdowns, the interactions with these other operators that we've already released. How, what, is, what is she a good counter pick to? 
So the first good counter break she is, uh, it's Ella. We know we're nothing Ella next season, JB talked to you about that, but on top of that, we want to introduce also a, a counter. So a boost will allow her and her teammates to gain a resistance to concussion. It's not an immunity, it will just reduce the time and the duration of the effect and the intensity of said effect. So that way, if you push a bomb site and there might be concussion mine, you can actually have the upper hand in the gunfight. As we hear the crowd going crazy for that reduced effect. And I think it's really important that there's two ways to really balance an operator. Either nerf them directly or introduce a counter to them. Yes, And that's, that's really what Finca is, is becoming to Ella. And uh, are there any other gadgets like that that she has some resistance to? Yes, uh, similar way, we have the flashbang. So it's also a resistance to flash from your own team. It is not at all ying. It's not an immunity. You don't see clearly through the flashbang. But if you want to push synchronize with your teammate, you can flash and be less flash than what you should have been and try to gain this gunfight as well. So obviously, normally, a flashbang will white out your entire screen. Yes. There we saw only a little bit of it, and it affects every single teammate that is impacted by this gap. Yeah, that is the important point. It's not just for you, like King, it's all your team that can benefit from this reduced flash or concussion effect. So that, that reduction is for a team-wide across the board when that effect is active. Now, that seems like a pretty powerful gadget. Are, is there anything else that actually counters Finca? Yes, of course, we have some counters when one, when the first counter we offer is uh, smoke. The reason behind it is if you are boosted with this adrenal boost, you will breathe faster. And if you breathe faster, the smoke canister will affect you a lot more. And as you can see during the, if you plant, yeah, <laughs> that is, that is a powerful effect. That is, uh, you need to be very careful if the smoke is against you. So that, uh, just to be clear, that's 30, about 30 HP per tick. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I don't think Smoke is too oh. happy about that in the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so obviously, the, a really strong counter to Finca is Smoke. 30, 30 HP per tick is pretty powerful. Is there anything, uh, you, you know, I mean, so you mentioned that you're, you're breathing faster, you're breathing stronger. Does that mean your heart's beating faster as well. Yes, Justin, well. you're correct. Good, good spot. Uh, since your heart is beating faster, you will be able to spot someone under the effect of the boost from further away. The same way you used to with the pulse of the old days. So here we're going to see Finca activate the ability and, and she gets spotted. She gets spotted. OG pulse mains rejoice because that is uh, going to be a nice callback to when Pulse had a little bit of a longer range. And so whenever a team, uh, an attacking team member has that ability active, Pulse is going to have a little bit of longer range to detect them. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, uh, that's a look at some of the counters to her, but also can you remove this ability? Is there any gadget that removes the ability? Yes, definitely. Since uh, it's a team boost, we need some things to be able to stop it right away. The first one we offer is a lesion. If the lesion mine affects you, all of a sudden the poison from a lesion mine will counteract the effect of the adrenal implant and you will lose the HP, the bonus accuracy, everything you add with the effect of finger. So that's a really nice buff uh, for, or counter for Legion, where he can counter Finca directly with, with anybody that steps on one of his minds with this uh, ability active, they're gonna actually have that removed. Yeah. So uh, is there any other gadget that, that acts like that that can remove this ability? Yes, in a very similar fashion. Echo will be able to do that as well if you are under the effect of Finca. Okay. If you enter the site, if you get next to the yokai, it will be able to stun you, and this stun effect will remove the effect from the boost. So there you have it. Two ways to actually remove the ability, mm -hmm. and two operators that can actually counter the ability. So that is a look at Finca. Uh, we're going to actually check out some pre-recorded video of her as I speak to Simon. Uh, Simon, break it down, Finca, for us. Uh, I mean, is this global buff ability kind of something that you guys are really excited about? Yeah, we're really excited with introducing uh, global abilities uh, to Siege. Um, I think uh, Finca is going to be a, a really interesting addition uh, to, to Siege, but... Um, don't be fooled by uh, just the appearance. She's going to require a lot of coordination for, for your team to be able to pull off like flashy plays with her. Um, we've had extended playtesting with it, and it's you need to be talking a lot, and you need to be playing a lot with your teammates to, uh, to get things done. With, a, with a lot of coordination yeah. that you actually have to have with your teammates. 
we're gonna see that. How do you think that's gonna play out in Pro League, where the, where the players are competing and coordinating on the highest level? Yeah, I think there's no doubt that we're going to see some Thinker action in Pro League. Um, how fast we're gonna see it, I, I don't know. I think uh, players are gonna need to warm up to the new mechanics. It's a, I mean, it's a huge game changer. She has a global. She can affect everyone everywhere, and it's and it's not like it's non-negligible buffs that she brings. So, I think they're gonna have to study a lot the interactions and how to coordinate attacks with uh, with Rush uh, with Finca. But um, yeah, I, I think she, we will see her. You, you mentioned this global ability. We've been talking about it. Is this something that you, as a game designer, is are really excited about? implementing into the game this global buff? Well, actually, um, we were we were uh, toying around with uh, how to um, bring healing on attack. And um, back when we were designing Capitao, um, his smoke darts actually uh, were at first uh, healing darts. And that didn't work out because the attack is always split up. And it was really complicated for the Capitao to, to go everywhere and heal his teammates. And so um, that's that's... And then, and then we went to overheal, right? And Duck eventually got that because that didn't work out on Capitao either. The overheal didn't work, and so Duck got that. Um, but then uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> Capitao got... Uh, it didn't work out for Capitao, so we, we gave it... We turned it into a global, and it, it kind of snapped for, for us. We were like, all right, well, then let's, let's just make it with a device that everyone brings in when uh, Finca's there on the team. And... So yeah. the, these are some of the ideas that you guys have been working on for a long time to really actually want to implement into the game where there is a, an operator that brings a lot of support utility in terms of healing up uh, operators and even reviving them from across the map, but also giving them you know, this, this more stable control over the weapon. Yeah. Which I think is really one of the most interesting aspects of this, of this ability is that you can actually impact the performance of your other teammates, is that you can actually boost their performance. Yeah, exactly. And the whole challenge here is to make it happen when it's the right time, because you're, gonna, you're obviously going to get, if you're not, if you're Finca and you're not uh, talking to your teammates, you're obviously going to boost teammates who are not going to need it and it's going to go to waste. And so it's how to make, um, and it's how to be efficient with your team with Finca. Yeah, and Amelian, uh, as you worked on Finca, I mean, this is a really exciting moment to showcase to the community. What are your, you know, how does it feel to showcase Finca for the first time? Yeah, it is amazing. It's a uh, craft something and it ended up there. It's, uh, it's a long process developing an operator like that. Uh, you heard both of us make the mistake of using the name Rush for her it's <laughs> because it's her Dave name. And speaking of Dave, the way we do usually is we place a lot of things on the table, we toy with a lot of things, and then we filter this to something very specific. It's not, it's not a, a very focused, it's no. not a very linear path. Exactly. There's, there's so many different elements that you guys are bringing into it. When we tried a buff, a global buff for Finca, we tried a lot of things. For example, something that uh, went out fairly quickly was, was buffing the speed, <laughs> which meant literally for, for speed ash. And that, that, that was the, yeah, we decided yeah. to remove this from, from Rush. And I, she I, had a, I think uh, the community would be really happy to not see that. Exactly. <laughs> and I think it's a good choice. And that's the way. Usually you push uh, your operator as, as much as you can with a lot of things. And eventually you say, OK, this works well. Let's, let's keep it. And oh, this do not work so well. So let's remove it from Rush. And then you, you craft her. And and then you get to release, and it's super exciting. And we get to see what the player actually do with what we made. Yeah, and as you mentioned, it's a lot of collaboration, a lot of coordination that players are going to need for Finca in the game. Uh, is that something that you guys really try and push? Is that tactical aspect of Siege that is so important? Yes, definitely. Coordination is super important. This is a two element with Finca. Is you've seen that this is team wide. You need to be coordinated, and also it has super strong interaction. Like you need to know if there is a smoke. You need to know if there is a lesion. This is super important, and there is a reason behind it. Is as JB mentioned a bit earlier on the panel, we want to introduce something new that you will hear a lot more tomorrow, called the pick and ban. And in that context, having strong operation between operators means you don't need to know just your teammate, but you need to know everyone, what they're doing, what is on the board, how you can interact with those things. And strong interaction, like Smoke Finca, like Legion Finca, uh, or, or Ella Finca, this is, this is super interesting for us. Pushing the boundaries of the coordination and collaboration and communication that is so important to Rainbow Six Siege. That is Finca. So as you saw, Finca really does bring a lot to the table. Resistance to flashbangs, resistance to Ella, 
and the elevation of the heartbeat and breathing I think is absolutely ingenious. Um, it really has this unique way of being like, okay, well, she's going to be in the Pro League. Smoke is a very prominent user in the Pro League. How do we make an operator that can benefit everyone by giving them a boost, but making very common defense operators give more um, counter to it? Normally it would be, okay, well, you know, Mute, Bandit throws the counters, they stop stuff. Now it's... Okay, well, you're breathing faster, so smoke. You inhale the smoke faster, you take 30, 30 points of damage per tick. Insanity. You know, that's a lot of damage. Pulse can see you farther, he can alert his team faster. All about this, you know, you get this amazing reward, but you do have these very strong, strong counters. So that is something I'm highly looking forward to. Or else you can just straight up negate the entire effect with an Echo Drone or some Lesion Mines. So Lesions that decide to roam, guess what? You're not allowed to roam anymore, big boy. In the objective, you're throwing your needles down every 30 seconds because we're going to need you to help us stop those bomb plants. Uh, but other than that, I don't really... Uh, I really don't see her being overpowered uh, because of how many counters she has. It is nice that she can revive people wirelessly, if you will. Um, but uh, that will make the defenders really have to struggle to chase kills if they do down someone outside. Um, so Cavs, be careful uh, when you do run outside because they will probably get revived and things along those lines. Um, so yeah, so make sure if you do drop someone, you're aiming for those nice headshots because you're supposed to be anyways. So next, let's take a look at Lion. So without further ado, let's get on to our second operator, Lion. Lion is from the French, uh, Fr French CTU B, uh, CBRN unit, and he comes equipped with what on the surface looks like an Intel gadget, but I think there is a little bit of depth here, and to explain that depth, Simon, please uh, tell, break it down, the game design intentions behind Lion's gadget. And so we were um, designing in terms of globals. Uh, and so we'll see now in action, there's the flying drone in the, in the sky. And then he activates a tagging window where he can catch all of the defenders that are actively moving during that tagging window. So he, he actually has this ability and break it down to us exactly how it works. And so you, you will start by um, getting um, a window of warning for all players uh, on, the, on the map. And once it goes, there's a four, uh, four second window. Um, and if you are caught as a defender moving during that, uh, that, f uh, window f uh, that time frame, you will get your position tracked in real time. And I don't think we saw that just right on the, that first asset. So let's take a look at how it actually works in action when he act activates it for the first time. So let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, and actually, we're going to take a look at it from the uh, uh, teammate's perspective. So yeah, we're and so now we're at, in yeah, the we POV of Zofia, and she gets the information. And she gets an easy wall bang uh, there, uh, thanks to a great coordination between uh, her and Lion. And so that, that's all that I've been saying that, but it's all about coordination. But these globals, if, they're, if you use them alone, they don't work out. You need to work with your team. Yeah, so in introducing another collaboration element. Of course, that was from the perspective of the teammate when that's activated. And, uh, and that, that's, I mean, it's such a powerful tool to provide intel. But as I mentioned earlier, there is a little bit of depth here in terms of how that works on the de actual defender side. And there's two different kind of states for the defenders, moving and standing still. So what happens when you're moving and Lion activates its gadget? So when you're, live, uh, you're moving in, Lion activates his gadget, we'll see uh, now classic Ella roaming Watchtower. And she gets caught moving during that tagging window. And Lion can just get in, swoop in, and get the kill because she, he knows exactly where she is in real time until the time window ends. So obviously, as you're moving, when you're moving, this and, and, and Lion activates his gadget, you're going to get that red line around you. But there is a way to sort of prevent this by standing still. What exactly. does that look like? It's a, it's, it's a soft counter to the ability. You have a choice to remain still. And when you remain still, you do not get tracked. But now we see Pulse is wiggling around, trying to wiggle the angle. And he gets detected by Lion. But Lion is not careful. He did not see that Ella was there. <laughs> and so it's, it's not hard intel that Lion provides, because you will never get 100% 
accurate information on all of the defender's position. Um, so you need to use it wisely, use it, pair it with droning to, may, to be efficient with it. Pair it with droning to be efficient with it, and it really plays with the psychology of the of the defenders, and this is really kind of like crowd control. It's kind of a soft yeah. crowd control, yeah. Uh, so, so it, it gives a choice to the player. Um, are you safe enough to risk moving and being tracked, or are you in a sticky situation where you'd rather you know, as, stand as, still? As we saw with Dokabi, when your phone is ringing, as a defender, you have a choice to either answer it or let it ring and, and yeah, you know, exactly. let it annoy you. With this uh, gadget, for the defenders, you have the opportunity to either run around and be spotted or stand still and play that waiting game. Yeah, and, and when you pair that with droning, say you find someone uh, in the bathrooms droning uh, with your drone, and you activate, you call it to Lion to activate his ability, you know you have him there, and if he moves, you will 100% know. And so that's very valuable information paired with droning. Absolutely, very valuable information. And what kind of situations does Lion shine with that valuable. Well, he shines in many situations, but on retakes, he's he's a monster. So now we see the little Jaeger coming for a, a nasty uh, a nasty roam, but he gets denied instantly, and now they go in for uh, for the the bomb plant. Um, and we'll see Lion activate his ability, and now the defenders have to move, right? They, they need to retake this, this side. Uh, but Lion makes their life very, very hard as they try to retake this side, because he gets all of the information of the defenders trying to, to come back on So side. a really strong way to prevent a retake. And uh, as we saw on there, he, has, he can use it three times, right? Yeah. And for how, how long does it last about? So the, the, the time window is four seconds. It's a three second war uh, warning plus a four second uh, active window. And there's a 10 second cooldown between each uh, charge. So you cannot just chain tag. So yeah, so you can't just spam this thing. There's actually, you have yeah. to wait 10 seconds in between. Exactly. So a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of strategy there as to where you're gonna actually utilize this gadget. Yeah, and also like uh, when in the round, like do you want to keep it for the retake as an attacker? Like do you, do you want to, uh, use it to drone in, to you drone yourself in, to try, try to get information on the roamer. There's really a lot of situations, and it's all up to your team to figure out when's the best time to use Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So that's a look at his gadget. Let's take a look at the loadout, what uh, armor and speed is. It? So he's a 2-2. Uh, he's a little beefy, but he's a 2-2. Um, uh, so that's, that, that felt like a natural fit for him, um, just a standard like loadout. And what are his primaries and secondaries? So his primary is the Chris 308, and uh, he comes equipped with the other French uh, weaponry, uh, which is the 417 and the SGCQB, along with uh, the P9, if I'm not mistaken, the LFP 586, and the Claymore and the Flashbang. Uh, but now I hear you, uh, you mean another vector, a drum uh, magazine vector, but uh, it's, it's not that high ROF because it shoots uh, 308 bullets, right? And so it's, uh, it's the same kind of, it's the same weapons, the same technology that's used, but it, uh, it's a really uh, less, way, way less uh, so rate as, of fire. So as with the, uh, the vector that is on Mira, it's a little bit different. It's, it's, it's not as, it doesn't have the f same rate of fire. It's a little bit slower. No, it, it's, it's, I would say it's much closer to, uh, to an LMG than, than an, an actual like a high ROF SMG. Yeah. I hear a lot of players out there saying when they saw the vector, they were like, you know what, I'm gonna be a vector main now. I'm yeah. gonna be an attacker and defender with a vector. Uh, you get to be a vector main now. <laughs> really cool. So, uh, who is the best counter to Lion? How do we stop this? There is a very hard counter to Lion, and it's Mute. Um, if you are standing in the radius of a Mute Jammer, um, you are free to move, and you will not get detected. And so now we see a clever use of a Mute who kept a Jammer for him while he's roaming, and now he can wiggle the angle, and Lion just, just, <laughs> just, just unaware. He's, yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he, get, he gets uh, crushed. So yeah. that is a look at, uh, at Lion. We're gonna play a little bit of uh, some, some footage of Lion in action as we talk a little bit more about his ability. Now, uh, I just wanna break it down because you, you did mention he has a, a Three second win, three second ability that this is active, and you have to, and you don't get the red lines when this is uh, when you're standing still. But what kind of like, what does that mean actually? 
does it mean that if you're rotating or, or aiming down sight, is that going to actually So yeah, it's really this? like the, the rule is pretty simple. It's all about movement. You're free to do other things while you're, you're in the window. You're free to rotate, you're free to aim, you're free to shoot, you're free to throw a C4, um, you're free to change stan stances, uh, you're free to deploy a gadget. Um, but it's really about moving. You try, you press that W, you tilt that joystick uh, forward a little bit, you will get spotted instantly. So really just about the movement. And Amelia, I want to turn. Uh, Lion, interestingly enough, really came full circle for me. Um, I didn't think he'd be all that crazy. And then Goliath in the sky showed up. Um, absolutely insane ability. I think he will be uh, like Finca. Uh, an absolutely fantastic operator for Bomb. And the cool thing about Lion is I think that him and Finca uh, will each have strategies that won't require each other. They can, and there will be strategies that do require each other. But the cool thing is, like with Mira's on defense and other strategies, you can really build something crazy around uh, these kind of strats. So when you have someone going to plant... You can have this powerful tool of being like, okay, well, people have to come defuse. They're going to be moving, so you're going to have to activate that lion trap or the uh, the drone to scan people. I think it's going to be an absolutely insane ability. He's going to be crazy on bomb. Roamers, be careful. Uh, I definitely will do a lot of testing with his drones. So make sure you guys do check out for videos when we do test out lion and think on the TTS. Because uh, I am kind of confused on how his drone works. I don't know if you're allowed to move while it's counting down. And you get spotted, or you like have to stop just before it fully ticks down. That was really confusing to me. Uh, I think I think you can still move. From what I saw, it's like you can move up until the counter ends. And if you're moving once the like the counter ends, it finds you. So you kind of have to like stop for a brief second. Once the scan goes off and you're not detected, you can move. I kind of think that's how it works. I'll take more look into it on the TTS once again. Like I said, uh, when he fully does get released. But at least he doesn't have a crazy gun um, that everyone was kind of fearing uh, when we saw a drum mag vector being leaked. I definitely think that's something we can all kind of give a little sigh of relief to. Um, but other than that, uh, his simple counter of mute kind of disappoints me. I really think that she had a vigil to the list. And if they added Cav, I, I could see it, but I'm not advocating for it. But yeah, um, other than that, I think he'll be a very strong operator. Uh, they're both very strong, uh, but they're both not crazy overpowered, at least on paper. We'll see. I think Finca, though, will probably be the one who winds up getting nerfed. That flash resistance will definitely have to be something that Ubisoft needs to look at because that is absolutely insane uh, with the current Pro League meta of Ying and Glass, where you can just Ying rush with flashbangs and her candelas. Absolutely insane if people aren't really affected by that properly. I think if that will be the only thing they really need to properly look into. But other than that, I think they will be okay for their standings. And they'll both be suited as really good operators. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought of the reveal of Finca and Lion down in the comment section. Also, definitely 3 out of 10 for the Ash Elite skin. Could have been more headless. Without further ado, guys, I've been Dangerous Smith, and I'll see you sex-based next episode. Peace.